All right. So now that we have gone through the admin trails together, and we have also gone through the developer trails together, now I want to show you to use one powerful tool that have helped me a lot along the way throughout my Salesforce journey. It's called the DLRS tool. So what is it? Now this tool will definitely, definitely help you with your Salesforce career along the way. It will help you tremendously. So let's get started. Now I'm gonna Google DLRS. So this would be the tool that we will be installing. What is it stands for? Declarative Lookup Rollup Summaries. Whoa, it's pretty mouthful, right? But as it is mouthful, it is very useful. So what is it? And who made this? As you see, this is um, a GitHub repository. So it is not hosted in the app exchange. So who made this? It's made by a developer. His name is Andrew Fawcett. So you can look it up. Um, he has a website called Andy in the cloud. Somewhere on the, see on the link here, if I even open this up on a new tab, it goes to his website, Andy in the cloud. But, but who is Andy? Andy is actually part of Salesforce. If I go to the about page, so I'm currently working for salesforce.com in product management for the platform. Previously, financialforce.com CTO. So he is part of the Salesforce um, core developer. So he's also the Salesforce MVP. So in short, what I'm trying to tell you is this uh, tool is trustworthy and, and it has helped me a lot along the way. And I want to share you on how you can use this tool as well. So, so enough about um, Andy. So let's get to it. So first of all, you would want to install this so you can start playing around with this uh, very powerful tool. So how can you install it? First, um, Google DLRS, D -R -D -L -R -S, like that. You go to the GitHub repository, right? A faucet stands from Andy Fawcett. That's his name. If you want to look up his Andrew Fawcett, that's what he looks like. And he's an author. He has two books, Force.com Enterprise Architect um, and Architecture and Salesforce Lightning Platform. All right. So once you've Googled DLRS, um, click on there, scroll down. You can read through this, but to install it, go under Packages, Package Release History. So the latest one is the top one. So if you are going to install it on your production, like your real production or, or a trailhead uh, playground or a developer, you use the production URL, all right? If you are going to install it on your sandbox, if you are already working in an organization that utilizes Salesforce and you are already an admin who has access to a sandbox, then go ahead, install this sandbox on your sandbox org and play with it. So for now, I want to install it on my say admin advanced um, playground. So I'm gonna launch my admin advanced playground and I'm going to just launch it here and I'm gonna click here again, and I'm gonna install this on my production URL because a Trailhead Playground is a production org, all right? So I'm gonna click on there. So I'm going to log into my Trailhead Playground. Now, I'm going to install it for all users on this playground. So this may take a while, and you will see this uh, message, this app is taking a long time to install. That is normal. Every time I install this um, tool, this message will always appear. So just hit done. So you will receive an email after the installation has completed. So I'm going to hit done here. So basically, um, I'm going to close this security alert. 
once it's done you will see it on roll up summary so you can click on here and you should have if you look look up declarative look up roll up summary there it's already installed then so i click there now you have a welcome here and you have to first um, initialize the security settings but let's see if i click manage lookup rollup summary here this tab provides the ability to store rollup definitions this is the help help section so actually that's it now you are actually good to go i'm gonna hide this message for now and you can start creating your first um lookup rollup summary so i'm going to explain this by explaining my current existing um, lookup rollup summaries and i'm going to discuss maybe 10 15 or 20 use cases which will hopefully you can absorb and you can do all kinds of lookup rollup summaries on your own org as well however you need it so this will be a complete playlist so you will have around 15 use cases and i'm going to create around 15 videos to explain each use cases um, and i'm going to take my time so you can understand how to use the whole thing and i will see you on the first use case on the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom